Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today it is Oh Happy Day Trunk Show Day. I am going to be showing you all of the quilts and the projects within this book and I'm excited to share them with you. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. I'm so glad to have you here today. If you watch the video and you love what you see, I'd love if you'd subscribe. And if you have been checking in regularly with my videos, I would love if you would subscribe as well. And even better, if you've been one of the people who have been commenting, thank you so much. I appreciate that. When I am filming these videos, it always feels a little bit strange that I'm just talking to a camera. But then when you guys start commenting, it's so nice and I appreciate that so much. So I would love if you would, as you're watching the video, comment and let me know which of these projects is your favorite quilt project that I'm sharing with you today. Let's just dive into this first quilt. So this quilt behind me is my proposal quilt in the book. If you watched the making of a book series, you already saw a sneak peek of this quilt, and this is the first project in the Oh Happy Day book. I made it using Tilda fabrics, using the Maple Charm collection, not Maple Charm, Maple Farm collection, and the binding striped fabric that I used is from a Sherry and Chelsea line of fabric. In the book, you're going to see that I always list the collection that I used for each quilt. In addition, if the striped fabric is from a different collection, which it often is, because not all collections have great stripes to use for bindings, I list that collection as well so that you can see exactly what fabrics I have used if you wanna duplicate that quilt. The other thing that I didn't share with you guys is that each project in the book has a pillow project. This is something fun and it allows you to see what the project looks like done in a different collection. I've used a different collection for each pillow so you can see how it looks in a different collection and it gives you a great chance to try out just one block from each project. There's just nothing worse than starting a big project like maybe the quilt behind me and realizing that you just don't enjoy it or maybe the fabrics aren't coming together as you'd like them to. Having just one block available for you to make means that you can try those things out. Make sure that you love the collection you're using and that it's coming together just as you'd like it to. Plus, um, having that pillow pattern means that if you make a larger project and you want to add some decorative throw pillows to go along with the quilt, it's a real easy thing to do. Let's take a look at this project up close. Before I talk about the quilting information for these first two projects, I want to show you the cutest little detail that Martin Gale included at the beginning of each project. It's this little picture frame. And if you watched my making of a book series, you'll remember that I had a little nod to the Friends TV series. If you're a Friends fan, you are going to recognize that little picture frame right away. If you didn't watch that series, it'll make sense if you go back and watch that. But I just think this is such a cute little detail that they add it into this book so I wanted to point that out to you. Let's just go ahead and start talking about the quilting. Now the quilting on each of the projects was done by Kayleen Perry. She quilted all of the quilts and all of the pillow projects for me and I'm going to talk about the quilting designs here but you will also find the names of all of the machine quilting designs within the Oh Happy Day book in the quilting information of each project. This means that if you want to duplicate that quilting design exactly you've got all of that information available for you. This small pillow project, she quilted modern loops for the quilting on this one. And for the larger project, this quilting design is called feathered spirals. For the big quilt, the backing is a grunge, a 108 inch wide grunge. And I used a little gray polka dot from one of my earlier collections for the backing on the pillow project. Let's move on to the next project. This next quilt is called Best Loved, and it is the one made with your favorite colors. And I love this warm palette. These fabrics are from the Cider Collection by Basic Gray, and it mixes some of the grunges in that collection with some of the prints in that collection. And it's a great way to showcase a very specific palette, and I think it turned out so pretty. Let's look at the quilting of this one up close, and I will also show you the pillow up close as well. 
I have the pillow cover laying on top here. These two projects are both quilted using the same quilting design. It's called Rind, and it is just a great orange peel type quilting design. It works really well for both of these projects. The backing on the pillow is just a cute little pin dot, just a pretty basic fabric. And then the backing on the big project is another basic gray grunge. I love using those 108s in the grunge fabrics because they make those backings so fast. So I use them quite a bit. And that's what those two are. This next quilt is called Friends Forever. And this one is fun because when you make this one, the cutoffs from these big oversized half square triangle blocks leave you with cutoffs that you can make a second quilt. I'm gonna show you what that looks like in just a moment. But that means that you can make one main quilt and then while you're working on the main quilt, you're also making a second one. And that kind of reminded me of, do you remember in, in maybe junior high, those little heart-shaped necklaces that you got one half and your friend got the other half? This quilt reminded me of that idea. So it's a great one to make for your friend. The fabrics that I used are mostly from my Springbrook collection. And it's just such a warm, happy, happy palette that I've used. We'll take a look at the quilting on this one up close also. For the pillow project, I used fabrics from my Cozy Up collection. The quilting on this one is called Beaded Clam. The backing is also from Cozy Up. On the main quilt, this quilting design is called Magenta. And the backing on this one is from a basic gray 108 inch wide from the Compositions line. And then let me show you how that secondary quilt might look. Right here is an example of how that could look using just those half square triangles. And depending on how you pivoted those within the project, you could do chevrons or you can make pinwheels. There are a number of different ways that you could put the second quilt together. This next quilt is called Generations of Love. It uses the At Home Collection by Bonnie and Camille, and it's a jelly roll friendly quilt. And I love the way this one turned out. We left out the reds from this collection, and it's just this wonderful homey blue and green quilt, and I think it turned out so pretty. The pillow pattern looks completely different because it's using just solids, and you can see what a difference it makes in those different fabrics. These are um, just warm sherbet colors, some of my favorite colors that I love to work with. The quilting on these is so pretty, and you can really see them set off when you use solids, so let's take a look. See what I mean about that quilting? On solids, the quilting shows up so nicely. This quilting design that Kayleen used is magenta. We saw this on an earlier project, and I think that looks so pretty on this one as well. For the backing, I used a print from Sunny Side Up. And then for the main quilt, this is that Modern Loops quilting that we saw earlier. And the backing on this one is actually one that I picked up locally at one of my local quilt shops. It was a 108 that has kind of a textured crackly all over design to it. Sometimes it's just nice when you can go into your local quilt shop and just find what you need. It's so much easier to match up fabrics and I thought this one worked so well. Look at the background on this quilt. I think that sets off these bright prints so well. This fabric collection is from Sherry and Chelsea. It's called Happy Days, and the quilt name is called Sweet Cakes. It uses a layer cake, so it's a great one to show off the prints from a layer cake. When you're making a pattern, a layer cake pattern that doesn't use all of the prints in the collection, this one uses 20 layer cake squares, it really allows you to pull out just the prints with the most contrast and I think they just shine beautifully across this quilt. For the pillow project, these are the same fabrics used in the last quilt that you saw, those at-home fabrics, but um, just in the pillow and with just the aquas and the grays. So this turned out really cute as well. I love the quilting on both of these, especially this little pillow. Wait till you see this up close, it's so cute. 
Look how cute those little hearts are. I think this is so adorable. This is actually one of my current favorite quilting designs. It works so well on so many different projects. It's called Love Always, and I love it on this little pillow. For the back, we used just a, an aqua solid to finish that one out. And while I have this book open here, um, Martin Gale always has the prettiest photography in their books, and they always just take the prettiest photos to showcase those quilts. So I thought this was just such a nice way to show that quilt off a little bit. And let's look at it up close a little bit more. This quilting design is called Mod Feathers, and I just love this one. I've been on a little bit of a feather kick lately. I like the way feathers soften up um, the stronger lines and the, the harder contrast that we see in this quilt. And I think those feathers just really add to that. And they show up so nicely across that navy background. For the backing, I used a Lulu Lane 108. This fabric is out of print and probably would be hard to find, but you could easily pick up another warm gray or even a navy 108 or a cream would be really pretty with this as well. And then that pretty happy day stripe just to finish it all off. It's cover quilt time. This is the cover quilt on the book. You can see it here. And isn't that pretty? This is a wonderful way to use solids. I don't know if you have used solids before in a quilt. I know that when I started quilt making, I used primarily prints in quilts. And it wasn't until I had been making quilts for a number of years that I started dabbling in solids. And I quickly found out that you approach them a little bit differently than you do prints. They allow for more contrast. Um, and they are a lot of fun to play around with. So if you haven't used solids, I encourage you to try them out. Now you might do as I did in this quilt and you might sprinkle some prints in with those solids to kind of soften things up and add some interest. And it's just such a fun quilt. Now when I had been planning this quilt last year at this time, I had thought that this quilt was going to be a scrappy quilt. That was one of the categories I thought that I was going to end up using for the book. But I ended up changing that to be the solids category and I think it turned out so so pretty. I used some of my favorite, those warm sherbetty sol solids like I mentioned in that pillow cover we saw just a little bit back. They're the same shades. I love these colors and they work so well. A great way to choose solids if you're unsure of what solids to use would be to choose a favorite print and then pull the solids that you want to use from that print. So I chose my border fabric first, which is from Sunny Side Up, which was a collection of mine from a few years ago, and then I matched the solids to the quilt. To that, to that quilt fabric. And I think that turned out so pretty. Now for the pillow, I wanted to go with something a little bit different. So you'll see this uses all prints and you can see how different it uses using just the prints. And you'll be able to see that a little bit better when we look at this up close. Prints or solids, what do you think? Which do you like best? I think they're both equally pretty, but they do have a different vibe to them, depending on if you use prints or solids. For this smaller project, this is a mix of some of my fabrics as well as some Lella Boutique fabrics in there. The binding is actually an art gallery fabric I've had in my stash for many years, and it just happens to work really well with a lot of the fabrics that I enjoy using. The backing on this is just a little gray plus print. The quilting is called Paper Blooms. And this is another favorite, favorite of mine that I am loving right now. Let's look at the quilting on the big quilt. This is called Moulin Rouge. It's an all over feathery sort of design. Again, that really softens up that sharp contrast of the solids against the background. For the quilting on this one, or the quilting, for the backing on this one, this is a 108 inch wide print from my Canning Day collection and it works beautifully with this fabric. So, it's a little peek at that one. And here we have the Solitude Quilt. You guys got a peek at this one previously as well, but here it is. This is the hand quilted quilt. I used Cozy Up fabrics on this project. And I'm excited to show you this one up close because I love the detail that that hand quilting adds. The Pillow Project uses Happy Days by Sherry and Chelsea and it's machine quilted. So you can see it looks quite a bit different. We will look at these and I will talk about the hand quilting just a little bit more for this project as well. 
On the pillow project, Kayleen used the Quilting Design Cartwheels to beautifully quilt this one. The backing is from an older line of my fabrics. And then let's look more at the larger quilt. I hand quilted this using Aurifil 12 weight thread. That is a great thread to use for new time people to quilting. And I use the big stitch quilting, which is a lot more user friendly than the smaller hand quilting that you might be familiar with. I really enjoy hand quilting on small projects and it's a lot more um, accessible to beginners than a big project and especially using the big stitch quilting rather than the small stitches, makes it come together so quickly. This took me a couple hours to do the whole entire quilt top. It's not a big quilt, but it didn't take that long to hand quilt this project. I am planning on putting together a series on hand quilting, so if this is something that you're interested in learning how to do, um, make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on that. The backing on this quilt is also from my Cozy Up line, and then that pretty striped binding to finish it off. I am an Ohio girl born and raised. So the Ohio Star Quilt Block is near and dear to me and one of my favorite blocks. This quilt uses a whole bunch of Ohio stars and I think it came together beautifully. I used the Apricot and Ash collection for this quilt and I left out some of the green so it's just the corals and the grays and I think that's just wonderful. For the pillow, this is what the pillow looks like. It uses the um, grunge from the cider collection that I mentioned earlier and I bordered it out for it with a print from the cozy up collection the quilting on these as always is beautiful Kayleen does a wonderful job on quilting my projects and I'd love to show you that On the pillow project, Kayleen used feathered spirals to create just a wonderful feathered design across the whole pillow top the backing on this was something I had in my stash. It is a little plus print on gray. For the big project, Kayleen used beaded clam, and it just creates just this wonderful clam design across with those little um, circles interspersed throughout. The backing on this fabric is a 108 inch wide fabric from a Lella Boutique line. I think this quilt is my youngest daughter's favorite quilt in the whole book because it's turtles and she is a turtle fan. If you have a turtle loving person in your family, this is a great quilt. It's so fun for those younger kids. My daughter is, she's 13 right now and she still loves a quilt like this, but it works great for younger kids as well. It's called Slow Down. The fabrics that we used for the, this quilt are from the Horizon Collection by Kate Spain. And they were actually fabrics that my daughter had kind of stashed away. Yes, she has a fabric stash too. She had stashed away and we were just waiting for just the right project. And she has already claimed this quilt and so we decided we were gonna use those fabrics for this quilt and it turned out super cute. Um, for the pillow project, we used Springbrook, which I think turned out adorable as well. And I'm just so happy with the way both of these projects came out. I like the quilting on them. We went with kind of feathers and spirals for both of them. So I'm gonna show those to you here. This quilting design I used a couple different times throughout the book. It's the feathered spirals design, and I really like the way it looks on most of the projects I've used it on. I don't think I've ever been disappointed with the way this quilting design turns out on a project. It's one I've used quite a bit, and it worked great in, in, on this pillow top. The back is from Springbrook. And then moving on to the larger quilt, this quilting design is called Spirals and Bubbles, and it seemed so appropriate for a turtle quilt. The backing on this is a minky. Now, if you have never backed your, your project with a minky or a snuggle type fabric, you are missing out because they are wonderful. They are the quilts that my family reaches for first and you can opt not to put batting on your minky backed quilts and it makes a really nice weighted weight of quilt. If you do put batting in, super cozy. It's gonna be a heavier weight quilt because that minky does add some weight to the quilt. We love those in the winter but um, they're always super cozy and turn out so nice. And they are just wonderful for snuggling on the couch. And so they are the ones we reach for. 
The last quilt in the book is called Twinkle and Shine. It's this wonderful Christmas quilt. I used Spotted Fabrics, which is Zen Chic's basics line for Moda Fabrics. And I have really been enjoying incorporating some more of those fabrics, mixing them in with some of my fabric lines. They add just a little bit of texture. We're gonna look at that a little bit more when we look at it up close, because if you haven't seen them before, they're really a really nice basic to add into your projects. For the pillow, these are those Tilda fabrics that you saw in the very first quilt. Maple Farm is the name of this collection and it really gives you a great idea of how different this project can look depending on the fabrics that you choose. Paper Blooms is the name of the quilting design on the small project. I finished the back with a polka dot fabric. And let's look at these prints. So you can see that they have a wonderful little dot texture to them and they are a wonderful alternative if you're looking for something that's not quite a solid but you want just a little bit of movement on your print. This is a great um, choice to make. They come in a lot of different colors and you can pretty much always find a color that's going to go with whatever you need it to match. And I've really been enjoying utilizing them. The quilting on this is called Sand Dollar. And let me show you the back here. I used a 108 of Bonnie and Camille's fabrics that worked really well with those prints that we used on the front there. I hope you have enjoyed seeing all of the projects in Oh Happy Day. This book is in quilt shops now, so be sure to visit them to grab a copy of your own. The information that I mentioned in today's video, the collections I used, the quilting designs that were used, all of that can also be found within the book. So it's a wonderful resource for that information. And I was sharing those pillow projects as we went along. That is going to make a wonderful sampler quilt along this fall. So I have that planned for you guys. I will be sharing more information about that later this summer. As we get closer to the fall, there will be an Oh Happy Day sew along happening. So you will want to be sure to follow along for more information about that. I thank you so much for stopping by and I hope to see you back again soon.